In this session, we're going to be discussing uh, describing setting up a presentation cart, a common task that most librarians will be will encounter at some point or another. To set up a presentation cart, uh, you have several items that you'll need. First of all, of course, you have the cart, as you see here, and then some of the other items that you see here um, will be necessary for the cart. Um, you can see you're going to have different kinds of cabling. We're going to discuss all these in detail. Uh, different kind of cabling. You're going to have a laptop, a projector, uh, usually have a set of speakers, and sometimes you will have a presentation remote. Uh, as you can see here, we have a presentation cart, very simple one. You can, you can get carts uh, for as much money as you want to pay for them. Some that lock everything, lock all the items up in there. And uh, um, this is a very simple cart here, under $100, um, which, which is a consideration with today's uh, librarians' budgets many times. Um, the, t the two things you, you want to be sure to get on a cart when you go to order a cart is, uh, first of all, that it has uh, electrical outlets already built in, as you can see here it does. And, uh, and the second thing you want to be sure for it to have are uh, the coasters, the, the, the wheels that come with it. Uh, the bigger the better. Uh, you're going to get a lot smoother ride um, uh, with it if you, get, if you get some good solid large wheels. All right, first of all, let's talk about the first and most basic connection uh, that you're going to have between the laptop and the projector. Uh, I'm, I'm not even going to go into the power. Everybody knows how to hook up power, power connections and plugging everything in. Um, the, the VGA connection is usually going to be blue. Uh, it is your primary connection between the laptop and the uh, projector for video. As you can see, these two inputs right here are one out, one in. Um, and this cable, the VGA cable, uh, not always blue on the ends, but uh, they will match up here. All you do, plug one in there, plug one in there, and your video is connected. Now, uh, the VGA or 15-pin cable is, is the most common cable used these days. Um, it won't be in the future. Uh, there, there will be a, you'll have a higher end connection in the future that'll be more called a DVI connection, something like this. And some laptops and projectors already come with DVI. So if you, if you are fortunate enough to have a DVI connection on your laptop or projector, you can use that uh, video connection also. Okay, another connection you'll be making will be for the speakers. Um, as you can see here, I have this laid out. Uh, from the speakers will be your standard uh, 1 8 inch jack, also nowadays called 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, and on your laptop, you'll have a set of holes, usually one for audio coming in. That will be for a microphone if you want to rec record sound onto your computer. The other will be for audio going out uh, into a set of speakers like we're doing here. Um, sometimes those in those inputs will be input and output will be color coded, um, and if they're not color coded, they usually at least have a picture on there, and the picture that shows a headset or a set of speakers for your head is always the audio out. So you just push that in there like that, and you should get sound. Uh, the only other item you might connect. Uh, would be a presentation remote and most of these are plug and play. All you do is uh, take the unit that goes into the USB, plug it in the USB and the presentation remote can remotely change slides for a PowerPoint. Uh, some of them have laser pointers, some of them actually control the mouse. As for adjusting the projector, uh, every projector basically has uh, four different adjustments you can make on it. Um, the, the distance with which you can throw a picture 
can be adjusted uh, sim somewhat uh, with this adjustment here. Focus is adjusted with he here. Uh, the angle to which it throws it up and down, uh, they, you know, there's different methods for the way these things operate, but there's usually one on the front. And then in the back also, to, to get the, get the uh, picture correct horizontally, there's a, uh, usually a wheel or something that you can adjust and roll here that goes up and down uh, to, to get your picture the way you want it. We're going uh, to fire this thing up and uh, show you how to make a couple of adjustments and then we'll be finished with this session. Okay, as you can see here after making um, all the proper connections, we have, a, we have a screen on the laptop, but we do not have a, uh, the screen that we want showing the projected image. Um, there could be two sources of the problem here. This is, usually, this is a common problem, that's why I'm covering this. Uh, sometimes it can be the projector. Most projectors now auto detect the signal and that would be the last place or the second place that I would check. The, the most common and the, the probably the place uh, where the problem lies is with the laptop. And as you'll see here, there, there, there is a function key on every laptop that controls the output of the signal. And it, and it goes like this. As you can see right now, we have a signal on the laptop, but not on the projected screen. When I hit function, and it's F8 on this computer, it's not the same on every laptop. Uh, when I hit function F8, you can see now I have an image that is projected and one that is on the laptop. When I hit function F8, again, you see that I have a projected image, but one that is not on the laptop. And again, when I hit it again, now I have the, the image on the laptop, but not the projected image. Uh, it just toggles through those three phases there, uh, when you hit function and whatever F key you're supposed to hit. Um, and those are the simple connections and simple process of setting up a presentation card. Now, there are, there are many more uh, controls on a projector than what I've covered here. That is beyond the scope of this little video.